This never shared it with nobody. Because I knew what I wanted in my heart and what I believed in. I didn't believe in killing nobody. I never believed in killing nobody. Not just him, nobody. Not even an enemy. So why, why? No, I'm glad justice been served. Everything is gone. Everything is okay. So I feel a lot better now. Now I can rest. Now me and my family can go on with our life. You know, it's over with. It's no more. So it's nothing else to talk. Decision has been made between us and everybody else. So we feel a lot better. It hurts me. It hurts me so bad. By killing Jonathan, it's not going to bring Randita back. No, whatsoever. So decision has been made. And that's what it is. <laughs> We, I, we have been talking about it about months. We have been talking about months. He had asked me my decision, and he gave me his decision. So at the end of the day, the decision that was made was my decision. So no one else could look at the DA, no one else, no other different. I made that decision. So that is what it is. Did Robinson reach out to you anyway? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I never let no one know. It was privacy. Every time he reached out to me, I never let no one know. This wasn't the first time he apologized to me. It's about the third time with letters and writing. I just never let no one know what was going on with me. From this time on, it was just private. Whatever went on, it was private between me and my family. Yes, he did reach out, and I, I, I forgive him. I forgive him, but I never will forget. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, looking back on this case, um, this is the, the woman that I wanted to hear from, the mother. Uh, first of all, my heart goes out to, your to you for your loss of your daughter, first and foremost. Uh, that first video I made about your daughter, it was wrong. So I will admit that. But looking back over this case and seeing and hearing your reaction to this, it only validates what I've been saying since day one of ever covering this case. You know, I didn't think he should be, uh, I didn't think he should get the death penalty for that. I really did not. Um, that was just my personal opinion. Uh, I am really glad that you kept a lot of what was going on behind the scenes where it should have been kept behind the scenes. Because believe me, had you leaked out letter one, letter two, phone call number one, phone call number two, the only thing that was going to happen was you were going to have all these people on YouTube, which Google owns, and everyone was going, Google was getting ready to start cutting more checks to these people, complete strangers, random people, that to be honest with you, I'm going to have to keep it real, but I don't want this, uh, I don't want to uh, have to have this video have an, have an adult rating on it, so I'm going to keep it to a certain level. Uh, but that's all they were after, you know, that's all they were after is exploiting the death of your daughter and any other daughter or son nationwide that they can for a check. Never was anyone going to set up a GoFundMe and make an initial contribution to that GoFundMe on behalf of the loved one that you lost, never were they going to, you know, give you any kind of financial compensation that you can have for those kids in the name and the memory of the loss of your loved one. That's never their goal. They get on here, they pretend to be concerned, they pretend to care, and you know what? In the blink of an eye, all that care and concern goes to the next 
heinous murder that has happened that they can in turn get an additional Google AdSense check for. So in hindsight, whether or not you knew what you were doing, you were actually protecting your daughter's legacy from these bottom feeders, you know. And believe me, I mean, they've moved on. They've made as much money as they can off of this. Um, they will continue to make money for the next 20 years off of Kanika Jenkins and any other high profile black murder that they can. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to call it the way my eyes and my brain has always seen this. I haven't been on this channel in months and months, but it's time to go ahead and respark back, respark this back up. Um, but I, I think you made a good decision and you made the decision that was best for you. That's the most important thing. There may be some black women out here that are enraged, you know, that you didn't do what they would have done or they thought you should have done or, you know, you didn't send the right message or, you know, uh, or even just the ones that just wanted him dead, regardless. You know, at the end of the day, of the day like you said, you feel better. You know, time for your family to move on now. You have closure, it's time to go ahead and heal. Because leave it to these Google AdSense checks and YouTube and these content creators that have hundreds of thousands of views. I mean, leave it to them. That will be an open sore for you that will never heal as long as they can make a dime off of it. And believe me, none of Renita Williams' kids will see a dime of any money that all these people have made off of, off of uh, the death of Renita Williams. None of those kids will see a dime. None of them will. Not of the money that these black content creators have um, have made and continue to make off of the death of every black female and male nationwide. That's what they do. They scour the internet looking for this stuff to make money off of it. And they don't donate a dime to the family, to the memory, to charity in the name of nothing. 